Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. I'm Jennifer, and today I'm sharing my favorite holiday treat. And I'm also participating in the virtual cookie exchange hosted by Noreen at Noreen's Kitchen. Now when I was asked to share one Christmas recipe, I thought that was really challenging because I have a lot that I like, but I thought since we are the family fudge that I probably should share a Christmas fudge recipe. So today I'm making Pebbly Path Christmas Fudge. Now I call it Pebbly Path because it's very much like Rocky Road with a few changes. It's quick and easy, so stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. Okay guys, now I'm not gonna lie. When I was invited to do this collaboration, I was super excited because number one, I love Christmas recipes and number two, there are a lot of other awesome YouTube channels participating such as Noreen, The Needy Homesteader, She's in Her Apron, Jay Morrell, and so many more. And I'm gonna go ahead and put links to their channels in the description box below. Don't forget to check them out. Now, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you like this video. I hope that you will give it a big thumbs up and you'll subscribe if you're not already. Now, let's get started. This fudge recipe comes together so easily. You don't even need a candy thermometer. And this recipe makes a lot, so it's perfect if you wanna give some away to friends and neighbors. It makes a great gift. Here's what you're going to need. Now, for your chocolate, you could use milk chocolate or you could use semi-sweet, but what I like to do is do half and half. So I'm gonna use half a bag of semi-sweet and half a bag of milk chocolate and blend the two together. But you can choose whichever one you prefer. I'm also going to be using about three cups of these mini marshmallows, one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Now this is sweetened condensed milk, it's not evaporated milk, that would be bad. I'm also going to use about one and a half cups of these chopped pecans. Now if you don't like pecans, you also could use walnuts or even peanuts would be delicious. I'm also going to be using a pinch of salt and finally some Christmas sprinkles. I'm going to start with the pecans. Now these are chopped pecans, but I would like them to be a bit smaller in my fudge. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a rough chop. Then I'm gonna add these to a large mixing bowl. Next, I'm going to measure out about three cups of mini marshmallows and add them to my mixing bowl as well. I'm going to line my 9 by 13 pan with some parchment paper, or you could also use foil if that's what you've got. And I'm going to give this a light spray with nonstick cooking spray. You want to have all of these things ready for when the chocolate comes out of the microwave, because at that point you kind of need to move quickly. Next, in a microwave safe bowl, I'm going to add half a bag of my milk chocolate chips and about half a bag of my semi-sweet chocolate chips. Then I'm going to add the entire 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And you know when you add sweetened condensed milk to a recipe, it's gonna be good. Next, I'm going to throw this into my microwave for about 45 seconds. Then I'm gonna take it out, stir it up, and put it back in for another 45 seconds, or until it's melted. You wanna be careful not to burn the chocolate, however, that would be gross. So now that this is nice and smooth, I'm going to pour it over the marshmallows and the nuts. I'm gonna add my pinch of salt, and then I'm gonna stir it up. Now this may be a little bit challenging to mix up because of all the marshmallows and the nuts, but don't worry, just keep at it. It will come together. So now I'm ready to get this into my prepared pan, and I find that it's easiest to use my hands. You just wanna spread it out as evenly as you can and smooth it down. But after all, this is kind of like a rocky road, so expect it to be bumpy. Now once you have your fudge spread out, you're gonna to wanna to quickly add your sprinkles. That way they can stick to the fudge. If you wait too long, they probably won't stick. Now to help our fudge set up, I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in the fridge for about 35 to 40 minutes. Or if you want it to go even faster, you could stick it in the freezer. After our fudge is set, I'm gonna go ahead and lift it out of the pan and cut it. And there you have it guys, perfectly easy but delicious Christmas fudge. I hope you guys love it. 
Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Now if you'd like to see more recipe videos from me, you can click on the link up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video, you can click on the link down there. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that by hitting my face right down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.